What's up guys, back with more of The Raven. Uh, where I left off, I had just gotten the bullet evidence uh, from Doc, which means we could go talk to Legrand and have him look at it, so we should probably do that. Um, what's going on with why can I examine the plant? Is there something cool in the plants? A pitiful attempt to make the interior of the ship seem less dreary. A bit of paint on the walls would have helped more. Especially since a plant won't survive long without daylight. But that means that the plant is out of place. Hmm. There are little stones in the flower pot. That's right. What we found here. Not only does the poor plant have to make do without sunlight, it doesn't have any soil either. They're hiding something. No, no, skip, 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 skip. Not only- I, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing on that one. We'll be fine. Okay. I would like to take really? some stones. What am I supposed to do with stones? Take them anyways. We'll find a use. Although, sooner or later. That's right. We'll come up with something for them then. You have no fear. All right. Let's just go talk to the inspector. Come in. He always sounds so happy. I love the music, too. I know I've mentioned that before. Constable? About the tranquilizer. Do you know how you wound up with the glass? Not yet. Then you should stop wasting my time and get back to work. Hey, don't be an ass. Because I brought you a bullet. About the bullet. Here it is. Excellent. Give it to me. As I suspected. A 7.65 Parabellum Luger. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to examine it in more detail? No when need. I have time. For now, no. we can assume that we have the murder weapon. There can't be too many antique Luger 08 pistols on board. May I take a look at the Baroness's cabin? We already searched it thoroughly. Sure. But what about now, by daylight? Yes, yes, fine, it can't hurt. Here, take this with you. Thanks. I'll let you know if I find anything important. Did he just give me but back only the then, bullet? Please, I'm very busy. Of course. I'll be in touch if I uncover more clues. Very well. Did he just give me back the bullet? Why would he give me back the bullet? And I wanted to inspect his, like, bathroom over there, because it looked like something was... Shiny. Oh, it's just for adding evidence. Okay. Little stones. Alright, let's get out of here. Two things I want to accomplish. One. We do need to figure out what's going on with the, um... The tranquilizer in my drink. Which I really think it was the captain, but I don't recall I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. And I obviously didn't go back and rewatch my videos to see if I missed something, because that would be not fun. But I also want to go into the cargo hold, because he was shot at. This is the and first murder scene I've ever set foot in. Wow. And there's got to be a bullet casing or something somewhere that we could compare it to the other bullet, blah blah blah, whatever. Okay, blood. Well, let's start by looking at uh, everything. The most unportable portmanteau I've ever seen. Um, a portable bar is more like it. Ooh, what do we it must got? be hard work transporting this big, heavy thing halfway around the globe. And the Baroness was lucky that the other freight cars were only lightly damaged by the explosion. An impressive piece. But I don't think it'll get me anywhere with the murder investigations. Oh, I wanted to see inside if it had all kinds of booze in it. But that's okay. Hmm. The notepad has the ship's emblem on it. I suppose all the first-class cabins have them. Not necessarily. Oh, I like it. And 
I will expose him. Look at that. Is there anything else? Maybe we can make a little smiley face. Oh, not exactly here. Let's do it up here. This way, this way. There we go! Well, how much longer do I have to do this? I suppose. Uh, I can't figure out how to get out. Well, I guess it wants me to keep coloring. No, I still can't read the message. What are you talking about? Alright, well now we can at least try the smiley face. Yeah, it doesn't let me do it. Alright, fine. Apparently we have to color the whole damn page. How could he not read the message? I mean, I saw it clear as day. I don't know about you guys. Inspector, me in the saloon at 10 p.m. There is a murderer on board. Do -do 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 -do. Scrapity, scrape, scrape, scrape. There we go. It says, Inspector, be in the saloon at 10 p.m. There is a murderer on board and I will expose him. B. B. <whistles> the Baroness seems to have known the murderer. It's her and butler. that means that the Raven can't be the murderer. He never killed anybody. Legrand probably never got the message, otherwise he'd have said something. Not necessarily. Grand could be the murderer himself. The mannequin surely came with the cabin. A mannequin for the Baroness's clothes would have a more generous figure. <laughs> generous? I guess that's the word. You know, since she's the size of a sea cow. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, a tape recorder. Must go with the built-in speakers. Probably part of the cabin's furnishings. Can we listen to it? The tape recorder is older than the hills, but it was once very expensive. Top of the range. And it doesn't come cheap. Hmm, strange. There's only one reel. Which means we're missing the second one? And it's the wrong one. Uh-huh. No. No sign of the original reel. So somebody recorded what happened and took it. A reel made by Zeibling. I know the brand. Zeibling's tapes can be overwritten many times without losing quality. They're used in offices so that executives can record messages for the secretaries on the same tape over and over again. But they're not good for much else. They're robust, but they don't offer much in terms of sound quality. Well, we'll just take that anyways. Alright, what else can we find here? Actually, now I'm curious about something. Yeah, well, we can't play it because you would need the second doohickey thingy. So let's just go ahead and end that one there. Examine the base. Somebody stick something in there? I like how he has to walk all the way to the other side of the room to come back and check out the base, a though. big, ugly, and impractical vase. If it had a wider opening, one could at least use it as an umbrella stand. Hmm. Hello? Anybody home? Can't see anything. Wow. Heavier than it looks. Or feathers. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Why would there be down feathers? Hmm. Nothing special. Although, it seems like one of the feathers was scorched at the top. Literally burnt. Was a pillow used to muffle gun sounds or I'd something? I'd better take it with me. Anything else in here? So far we've done pretty good. Why were the down feathers tossed in the vase? Or is there anything else in there? There may be something else in the vase, but the neck is too narrow to reach in with my hand. Uh, okay, now we've got to do something to get down there. He has a puzzle. Hmm. <laughs> We'll just stick the audio tape in there. I don't think that's what they have in mind. There's still blood on the mattress. There's something right here. The sheet and the blanket have already been removed. To analyze them, I suppose. Hmm. Nothing. The blood spot is the only sign that someone committed a crime in here. Hmm. Somehow. That's odd. She didn't bleed The blood a whole is lot. so red. Shouldn't it gradually darken in the air? Turn brown? The unusual color of the blood could be something that Legrand and Dr. Gebhardt missed last night. All cats are gray in the dark. As the saying goes, I should take a sample. The unusual. All. Okay. Uh. I obviously can't do that. Can't do that. Notice how it's like pulling four things at a whack? It's kind of weird. I guess our stowaway knocked me out. Whatever his story is, he's not a thief. Nothing's missing from my wallet. Well, that's good to know. There may be some. There may be something else in the vase, but the neck is too. All right, let's come out here, and let's um, let's go through the luggage. Okay, let's walk into the table for a little while. Apparently, the Baroness didn't have time to unpack her bags, or rather, didn't have time to tell her butler to unpack them for her. All right. Hmm. Sifting through all that would take ages. But here, the Baroness's handbag. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be something uh -huh. good in there. Ah. What do we got? Uh-huh, a book. A small leather-bound book. 1964 is engraved on it. This must be the Baroness's diary. Uh-huh. Cosmetics, a handkerchief, a spectacles case. Nothing special. No, it doesn't seem to be. Let's, Let's see the diary. See. Yes, it's a diary, all right. Difficult to read. No entry from yesterday. I can't imagine why. About the day before. A brief, sober description of what she's done recently. Met Morris. Arrange benefit concert for renovation of Louvre Southeastern Wing. Times photo shoot for Eye of Sphinx. BM, poor excuse for photographer. Too fidgety. Hmm. It was BM. And so on. And so on. Hmm. This entry looks strange. The handwriting is shaky. Difficult to read. Dreamt of Bobby. Yesterday would have been his birthday. Next week, Jay's. Hmm. Hmm. Something bad happened to her at some point. Maybe your family or something. Something's under there. More feathers. And they're singed as well. I'll put them with the others. Okay. There might still be something in the vase, but I have to be able to get to it, which I can't examine the alarm. Another alarm. It was tripped at some point. The seal is broken. 
but there's no way of telling whether it happened yesterday or five years ago. Yeah, but that's where they could have triggered the alarm. Huh. Sunflowers. Because the door was locked By Van Gogh, from the inside. I presume. He liked to paint that sort of thing. Can't be an original. They cost thousands of francs. Well, can I do anything with any of my things? Nope. I need to collect a, a sample of the blood. I need to do something, uh, I don't even know what I can do. Is there something off to the side here? Nope. And nothing here is interactable. Just real quick in case I miss something. We already examined the diary. The Baroness was a very busy woman, and it looks like she had to cope with the loss. Mm -hmm. She writes about Bubby and Jay. Neither seem to be alive anymore. Almost every family lost loved ones in the war. Maybe hers as well. I'll leave no. it there. I don't have time to read all of it. But you don't have to read all of it. Just take it, because it's evidence. The portholes face the side deck. If someone climbed out of the cabin through a porthole, Legrand and I would have seen them. Hmm. The portholes are locked. One cannot open or close them from outside. It's the same problem as with the door. If someone left go. the cabin through the porthole, how did they lock it? That's and the what Baroness we need to out. wasn't shot from outside. The doctor said she was shot at close range. Did she shoot herself? I guess that could be possible. Huh. The unusual color of all cats are... Yeah, see, I can't do anything with that at the moment, so I think I actually have to leave There may be something... Can't get his hand down there. Why doesn't he just... Eh, never mind. Alright, let's head out. There's nothing more I think I can do in there at the moment. The ah. Baroness's oh, butler there. looks like he didn't get much sleep. I would describe his facial expression as worried. Well, let's talk to him. This guy's up to no good. Hello, Mr. Inch. Oh, Constable, hello. Mr. Inch? You look the worse for wear. It must be terrible for you. Quite. Terrible. No one will hire me now. <laughs> uh, excuse me? My mistress was murdered. Would you hire a butler who's been mixed up in a murder? But if it turns out that you're not guilty... If? But what if not? Who else would they blame? There are no gardeners on this ship. <laughs> I understand your problem. Under these circumstances, I'm sure you'd answer some questions that could help clear your name, wouldn't you? Of course. of course. Did you notice anything suspicious last night? No, sir. After the Baroness went to the saloon, I went to the forecastle. I was there until the alarm went off. I went to the side deck and arrived shortly after Professor Lucian and Miss Miller. We found you and Inspector Legrand there. You were unconscious, and the inspector asked us to take care of you. Okay. My gunshot. Did you hear the gunshot? No. Just the alarm, sir. I guess we ask him what he you does You said you were in the forecastle. It sounded like the Baroness let you have the rest of the night off. Not entirely, sir. One of the crew informed me that the Baroness wanted to be roused at quarter to ten. Right. Why was that? I suppose that she wanted to toast the success of the journey with the captain and the other passengers. She hadn't intended to take a nap then? That was not her way, sir. She had a lot of spirit, shall we say, when it came to social engagements and a glass or two of champagne. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... The Baroness's cabin seems to have been ransacked. Indeed, sir. By the Baroness herself. Really? She was searching for something the entire afternoon. And did she find it? I think she did, sir, yes. She was in high spirits when she finally left her cabin. You wouldn't happen to know what she was looking for, would you? 
I'm afraid not. Huh. Would you describe the Baroness as orderly? Uh, well, she... She always had a lot of responsibilities, sir. That doesn't answer my question. She used to take a lot of luggage on journeys, and I helped her keep track of it as best I could. She was always very angry when she couldn't find something. What about the photos and the documents I saw in her cabin? I really don't know. They were out of bounds to me, sir. Memories from the war, I'd say. They meant a lot to her. Hmm. Right. The Baroness seemed to be pretty drunk the last time I saw her. Is that so? Does that surprise you? Did the Baroness not drink? Oh yes, she drank. It was no secret. I understand. Uh, how serious was her habit? Serious enough, sir. Was she under any medical supervision? Certainly not, sir. She adamantly refused to see a doctor. Like so many elderly women, she had a distinct aversion to hospitals and the like. Okay, well, we get a little bit more clue on How that, long had you worked for the Baroness? Six months, sir. Only six months? I always thought that butlers stayed with their employers for decades. Those decades have to start at some point, Constable. Her former butler wasn't able to fulfill his duties any longer. Gout, sir. I understand. I took on his duties and hoped for a secure position for the next 20 years. Hmm. May I ask what happened to your arm? A souvenir from the war, sir. Doesn't it hinder your work? Yes, sir. Obviously. I didn't mean to offend you. The Baroness had a soft spot for disabled veterans. I think she'd been through a lot herself. I think that's all for now. Please, sir, find the murderer. You have to clear me of all suspicion. I don't know, I get the impression now that he may not be the guy. Like before, I'm like, where's the butler? I'm like after all this, like, where's the butler? But, um... Let's see. I guess we could head into the saloon. I really want to go downstairs, but... Well, I guess the only things we can do is talk to the, uh... Captain? Oi, Captain! Captain DeConti is sitting at the bar again. He gave me the glass of champagne last night. Well, let's find out. Hello, Captain De Conti. Hey, Constable Zelna. You're back on your feet again. Glad to see it. Hmm, how about Did just everyone right drink from the same bottle of champagne last night? There was more than one bottle, if that's what you mean. There were quite a few guests, and the event lasted several hours. The last bottle of champagne, the one the Baroness drank from, did anyone else drink from it? Certainly. We have reason to believe that the champagne was drugged. Incredible! But wouldn't that have made everyone drowsy? Not if it was only the Baroness's glass that was drugged. I see. That's possible. On a night like that, many glasses are filled and emptied. There are several stewards, many guests. No one keeps track of every glass and every bottle. A few drops in a glass? Yes, it's certainly possible. Yeah, let's see. What was your experience of last night? Oh, terrible. Dinner was fantastic. Everyone was excited about having a pleasant drink under the stars. And then this. You were in the saloon all night long. As the captain, I have to care for my passengers. After you and the others rushed out, I tried to maintain a festive atmosphere. <laughs> but when the alarm it goes off, I lose the battle. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Wow, this guy has a lot to talk How about. How was he? the Baroness? She really surprised me. After she was so unapproachable at the reception and didn't show her face for the entire afternoon, I was afraid she was one of the boors and bourgeoisie. But then she arrived in the early evening in the best of moods. 
already had a few, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Did she say anything to you? She asked me where Legrand's cabin was. I told her, then invited her to come for drinks in the evening. I said it would be great fun. The whole ship will be there, and you don't want to miss that, I told her. And mm. then? She seemed to like and the then? idea. She smiled, and then left again for a few minutes. Then she came back and seemed very happy. We drank a toast to life. Hmm, well, that didn't really work out for her. But at some point she didn't feel well anymore? She overdid it a bit. She suddenly started to swoon and almost spilled her drink. I asked her if she wanted to rest for a moment in her cabin. At first, she didn't want to. She definitely wanted to stay in the saloon. But then she realized that she really did need to lie down. We left together. You know the rest of the story. Sure I do. The glass you handed me last night, where did you get it? Ah, I understand. You think your glass was poisoned as well? Did you pour it yourself? No. I saw that you weren't doing so well and wanted to rescue the situation. I took the first available glass and I give it to you. Was it on the table? No, I hurry over to you, together with Dr. Gebhardt, who... Of course, he had the glass in his hand. He was looking around for a place to set it down, so that he could examine you. I took it from him. And gave it to me. I'd like to apologize for that, but hmm. you look so worse for the wear, and I just wanted to comfort you. I didn't think of looking for a new glass for you. Hmm. So the doctor had the drugged glass in his hand. So that could mean that somebody was either trying to drug the doctor or the doctor is responsible for Is it for possible to find out where the alarm was set off? Or is it random? Not. There are alarms all over the ship. I saw that they're sealed. Can't we just check whether the seal is broken? I'm afraid they're gonna be missing on a lot of alarms. You know, this is an old ship and over the years... So, you're saying that the alarms haven't been regularly maintained? I'll inform the crew immediately, of course. <laughs> of course. All what right, can you last tell thing. me about the passengers? Oh, not that much, I'm afraid. I wanted to get to know them properly at the reception. In most cases, I just shook hands with them as they boarded the ship. There What's are a few that? regulars on board, and after dinner, I had a conversation with Mr. Kreutzer, a talented violinist, and Lady Westmacott. But you already know them from the train. It seems like yeah, there aren't that the many passengers on board. These bloody airplanes are making our lives miserable. Can you imagine? Grown men prefer to jam themselves into a narrow metal coffins instead of enjoying the fresh sea air on his ship. It's all about saving time. It shouldn't be about how much time it takes to get from A to B, but about how you spend that time. What you experience on the journey, that's what it's about. I'll get back to my investigations now. Ciao, hmm. Constable. All right. Okay, so... Do we feel as though he's not necessarily responsible? Like that he maybe didn't do it? The alcoholic drinks and everything that goes with them is top notch on this ship. As expected, fresh ice and tongs. Can I have those? D did I ninja? Constable Zelda, what is the meaning of this? Are even the police light-fingered nowadays? I need this tool for a criminal investigation. Well then, why didn't you say so? But bring the tongs back when you're done. Otherwise, I'll have cold fingers all day. <laughs> uh, okay. Little awkward, maybe. I don't really want to talk to him again. I don't really want to start talking to her either. Um, let's go back real quick. What do you suppose the tongs are used for? Because at this point, I would assume that, uh...
he walks so funny sometimes. I don't think that it would work. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would, but it's the first tool that I've encountered. So let's see. And I seem to have a little bit of a bug where it's like multiplying my. Uh, Could items. work. Let's try it. There's something in there. Ah. What we get? Someone stuffed this in the vase. What is it? Looks like it's been used to muffle a gunshot. If oh, this is an important discovery, I don't know what is. That explains the down Legrand, here I come. Exactly. Look at that. Pillowcase with burn marks. I, see, I called that at the beginning of this video, that they used a pillow. So... And that's where we'll conclude the video for now. Uh, we will be back with more, and we'll probably be into a whole new dialogue tree uh, with the inspector when we get back. So I thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the story so far, um, and you continue to enjoy it. Uh, we'll see you next time.